welcome back to another Mudbox tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to use stencils. So make sure you're on a subdivision that you can actually see what you're doing in, and um, click on this stencil right here. Maya, I mean Mudbox has a lot of pre-made um, stencils, as you can see. We can kind of use that one right there and give ourselves a little prickly texture. But let's say we want to go and use one of our own and not just these. So what you can do is you can just go into the lovely internet and just type in vector art. The one problem about every single vector art image is that uh, Mudbox represents black as negative and white as positive. So basically this will be basically you'd engrave this image. Um, that's fine, but I'll show you, let's say, if you want to make that pop out. So what you can do is you can just copy that <laughs> and go into a program that you can use to do things in. Just paste that in and um, I'm just gonna take that delete that and just take that entire thing right there and oops no I don't want to do that I just want to take the bucket and make that all white and make that all black okay so now we basically have in there might be programs you can do this a bit faster in that's what I always do it in so now we have our inverted um, as you can see text right there and just save that as whatever you want. I'll call this vec vector. Save it wherever you want and do that. Go into Mudbox, click uh, Sensel and then Add Sensel. Go to wherever you saved it. Mine was called Vector and I can just click that. Skadoosh. And as you can see we have this lovely image right here. So let's see if we want to put that right here. Um, you can always click on these to get an exact view and boom the more subdivisions you go and the more detail this will be but um, as you can see there is that let's say we want to make that a bit more detailed though I can just subdivide this go to like 8 maybe actually we'll even go to 9 if my computer can handle it okay now I'll click that again and oh geez my computer cannot handle anything um, oops you don't want to distort it actually just kind of go once there okay so now as you can see we have that thing from the internet turned into just kind of 3d popping out in mudbox you can always you know kind of make that a bit better and always smooth the edges but that's basically how you would use stencils so thank you for watching and please subscribe